Hello there, my fellow travelers, and welcome to yet another episode here on Strictly Flying. I hope you're all doing fantastic, and on this episode, we are going to take a flight from Paris Charles de Gaulle International Airport to the city of Fortaleza in Brazil with Air France. Now, I've already made this trip several times before, as this is actually my regular monthly commute between Norway and Brazil, and there are, of course, several trip reports already available on my channel of me flying on this exact same route with Air France on their Airbus A330, the Boeing 777, and their 787 Dreamliner also, which is the aircraft that we are gonna be traveling on yet again today. The Dreamliner is also my second favorite aircraft to travel on with Air France. Now my absolute favorite being the Airbus A350, which I absolutely love. Air France has unfortunately never operated the A350 between the city of Paris and Forleza, but I'll take the Dreamliner any day above the older 777s and the Airbus A330s. So. On today's flight, we will be flying on Foxtrot Hotel Romeo Bravo India, a four-year-old Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. So, just in case you were wondering, my journey didn't originate in Paris. However, this is just a connection and my trip actually started off in the city of Oslo, Norway early this morning. There is of course also a trip report available for that flight as well, so you can also check out that trip report where I've left a link to that video in the description. My connection here in Paris, however, is very, very short, just over an hour, so I have to run quickly to the gate where my flight to Brazil is already boarding. And on today's flight, we will be flying in economy class, and I've already reserved my seat 16A, which is just two rows behind the economy comfort section on the right-hand side. When traveling on these long-haul flights, I find it's preferable to sit as far as front in the aircraft as possible and on the right-hand side, the same side as the exit, so that you can minimize the time spent in immigration when arriving at your destination. Of course, this doesn't make a big difference when flying into major hubs where there are many international airlines that arrive at the same time. However, in Fortaleza, I already know that there is only one to a maximum of two international flights per day, so sitting in the front of the aircraft is just a great way to avoid spending too much time waiting in line for immigration upon arrival. Now, I have to say that I do enjoy flying with Air France and I find their service to be quite good and the crew quite attentive, even in economy class. However, something that I notice when flying with Air France is the appalling state of their aircrafts. Many of their aircrafts are so dirty that I actually felt uncomfortable and almost concerned about my health, sitting hours on end surrounding by filth from previous passengers. Earlier last year, I documented the state of an aircraft that I was flying on on this exact same route. However, that was an older 777 that was over 20 years old. I didn't expect to find this relatively new Dreamliner, however, to be in the same state. And to my surprise, this aircraft doesn't seem to ever have been clean since it was delivered only four years ago. To make matters worse, this flight was going to be delayed for approximately one hour due to repairs that needed to be done on the wings. Now, that is something you don't want to hear before departure. And looking out the window, you can see two mechanics actually using tape to fix what seems to be some kind of corrosion on the wings. Now, as a frequent flyer, I've heard of this phenomenon using something they call speed tape to temporarily provide protection from further corrosion of the aircraft skin. However, I can only imagine what other passengers may be thinking in this situation. If you're not used to flying, this could be a terrifying situation. You really don't want to see someone taping up the wings before departure. Surely, they must have known about this beforehand and is something that they could have fixed prior to letting passengers board the aircraft. Madame, Monsieur, bonjour et bienvenue à bord. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Ce film concerne votre sécurité. Merci de nous accorder votre attention. For your safety and comfort, please take a moment to watch the following safety video. 
Chaque fois que ce signal est allumé, nous vous prions d'attacher votre ceinture. Whenever the seatbelt sign is on, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Nous vous recommandons de la maintenir attachée de façon visible lorsque vous êtes assis à votre siège. We recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened and visible at all times while seated. Pour détacher votre ceinture, soulevez la partie supérieure de la boucle. To release the seatbelt, just lift the buckle. Pendant le roulage, le décollage et l'atterrissage, veuillez redresser votre siège, ranger le porte-gobelet, la tablette et le repose-jambe. Pensez également à ouvrir le cache de votre hublot et profitez de la vue. During taxi, take off and landing, please fold away your tray table and cup holder. Put your seat in the upright position and retract your leg rest. Please also raise your window blind and enjoy the view. Pour votre sécurité, tous les bagages, objets volumineux et appareils électroniques les plus lourds doivent être rangés dans les compartiments. Les accessoires seront placés sous le siège devant vous, à l'exception des places aux issues, bien entendu. For your safety, please store all the gauge, bulky items and large. Soon after takeoff, we were served our first meal and had a choice between chicken and pasta. Now I chose the chicken that was served with mashed potatoes, a salad and chocolate cake for dessert. Now I do think Air France has one of the tastiest economy class meals of any European carrier and even the portions are quite generous. After the meal I headed to the laboratory and Air France had yet another surprise in store for me. However, unfortunately it was not a pleasant one. For some reason the sink had no water and there was a handwritten note instructing us not to use the sink. Now just have a look at the state of this toilet and don't forget this aircraft is only four years old. I have to wonder at this point if business class is just as dirty as the rest of the aircraft or if it's only the economy class that has been neglected in this manner. However, that really doesn't matter because in my opinion it is completely unacceptable regardless of which class you are traveling in. I'm almost embarrassed on Air France's behalf that their paying customers has to experience this. Anyways, our flight today took us westward over the Bay of Biscay before heading over Spain and then into Portugal. Then it was southbound over the Canary Island and over the islands of Cape Verde before we crossed the Atlantic with a straight course for Fortaleza. The max cruising altitude for this flight was 38,000 feet and a total flight time slightly over 8 hours.
About one hour prior to arrival in Fortaleza, we were served a small snack consisting of a sandwich, a yogurt and a bottle of water. And shortly afterwards, we started descending to our destination. Now, before we make our approach into Forleza and end this trip report, I want to mention that this particular landing into Forleza was very special, now at least to me, and I'm going to explain why. However, I need to tell you a very short story about my background. Now, feel free to skip ahead by clicking on the timestamps for the landing if you wish, but if you've been following me on my channel, you probably know that I am Norwegian, living here in the city of Fortaleza, Brazil, for the last 17 years now. And I'm an absolute av geek, and I love everything that has to do with flying ever since I can remember. I probably made over 200 flights now into the city of Fortaleza, and looking out of the window, I know exactly where we are, and the approach into the airport is always the same. Because you see, there is a phenomenon that you probably already heard about. It's called the trade winds, and here in the northeastern Brazil, we have the southeast trade winds that blow from the southeast all year round. However, these trade winds get slightly interrupted in the rainy season between the months of February until May and the winds will blow more or less from the northeast. However, they rarely, if ever, blow from the west. And this means that all aircraft make their approach from the west and land in an easterly direction into runway 13 which has a heading of roughly 130 degrees. Now, if you watch any of my previous trip reports flying into Fortaleza, then you'll see what I mean. And if you still don't believe me, just open up FlightRadar24.com and check out the traffic at Fortaleza Airport, and I will guarantee that all incoming traffic is from the west. Today, however, for the very first time in 17 years flying to Fortaleza, I will get to experience landing from the east. Since we are smack in the middle of the rainy season, on this particular day, the winds shifted just enough to change the approach into runway 31. I know you're all probably shaking your heads right now and wondering how I can get excited about something like this, but I'm sure there are other av geeks just like me who can relate anyways. Just enjoy the view from the other side because I might never experience another approach like this again. Here we are, welcome to the city of Forleza. Now I hope you enjoyed that approach from the east just as much as I did and as always if you enjoyed this trip report then a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. 
To quickly sum up this flight with Air France, I have to say that despite the overall good service on board, I still find it absolutely unacceptable letting passengers on board such a filthy aircraft with broken toilets and having to patch up the wings with tape. There is absolutely no excuse and all of this should have been sorted before letting this aircraft be put into service. I'm curious if any of my viewers have experienced the same flying with their friends and if you have then please let me know in the comments. Anyways I'm gonna say goodbye for now so happy flying, stay safe and hopefully I'll see you on the next flight. Take care, bye bye.